Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family. For this week's video, we are doing super last minute DIY gifts for Christmas. And I know Christmas is less than a week away, but if you're like me, you're going to procrastinate. And I got you because these gifts are super easy and super awesome. I'm pretty sure whoever receives them will be super happy and I need to stop saying super. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. To make your coasters, you're going to need round pieces of wood, and I found mine at Michael's. Then lay out your piece of flannel and start tracing the shape of your wood. Now go ahead and cut out the circle. Now place your piece of wood on top and cut off any excess fabric showing on the side. And here I'm just using an old flannel that I don't wear anymore, but you can also go out and buy the fabric. Since I want the darker lining of the wood to show, I'm going to go ahead and follow the outline of my piece of flannel that I cut out and cut out another thin strip off of the sides. Go ahead and place your piece of flannel onto your wood and check to see if there are any areas that you need to cut off more. When you're done, go ahead and add hot glue to the sides and press your flannel firmly onto the glue. I recommend working in sections so that your glue doesn't dry out. Now your first coaster is done. To make them more personalized, I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. I'm going to take my chalkboard paint and start painting the piece of wood. Go ahead and paint the entire piece leaving the darker lining of the wood. Now just let it sit for about an hour to dry and you can start customizing it with chalk. This gift is perfect for all the tea lovers out there. Go ahead and take some sugar cubes and fill up your mason jar halfway. Then I'm going to take a variety pack of tea to fill up the second half. Just to make it look nicer, line the outer part of your mason jar with one tea packet at a time. Then go ahead and put multiple tea packets in the center. Then you can close up your jar. Now I'm just going to take a strip of wrapping paper. And I'm going to wrap it around the jar where the sugar cubes and the tea packets meet. Then secure it with some tape. Just to make it a bit more festive, I'm going to tie a ribbon on top of the wrapping paper. And I'm also going to add a Christmas sticker to the lid. And your gift is ready to go. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if you won't. To make the ornament bath bombs, you're going to need a quarter cup of citric acid, a quarter cup of cornstarch, a quarter cup of Epsom salt, and half a cup of baking soda. Then go ahead and mix these dry ingredients. Once you're done mixing, go ahead and pour it evenly into two separate bowls. Now we're going to mix our wet ingredients. You're going to need 3 tablespoons of coconut oil. Go ahead and warm that up to melt it. Add about 10 drops of your peppermint essential oil. Then add 1 tablespoon of water and mix those together. Now you're going to take half of that wet mixture and pour it into one of your dry ingredient bowls. You want to add it slowly while mixing to prevent the mixture from fizzing. Once you've added about half of your wet ingredients in, go ahead and mix everything together until you get an even consistency. Now taking the rest of your wet ingredients, add 4 drops of red food coloring and mix that in. Go ahead and do the same and mix it into the other bowl of your dry ingredients. Now you're going to need a plastic ornament. I found mine at Michael's. Go ahead and open it up and start filling your ornament with your mixtures. Once you put your color in, make sure you press it firmly down to make sure it sticks together. And make sure your edges are clean before you move on to the next color. For each half of the ornament, I'm going to do three different layers. Make sure that everything is firmly pressed together to prevent air bubbles. Before closing it up, you want to have the sides overflowing. Then you're going to twist them together, letting the excess fall through. Let it sit to dry overnight or pop it in the fridge for about an hour before you actually hang it up or use it. Before you open it up, make sure you tap the sides with a metal spoon to help it come out of the mold. And your ornament bath bombs are ready. To make the peppermint hot chocolate sticks, go ahead and melt some chocolate. Now go ahead and take your chocolate to fill up styrofoam cups about a third way full. Once you've filled them, take the flat side of your spoon and use it to press the chocolate firmly down and also to flatten the top. Then I'm going to sprinkle some peppermint marshmallows and crushed candy canes to the top. Now I'm going to use some paper straws and stick it right through the center. Next, just use your fingers to gently press the toppings into your chocolate. Then pop it into the freezer for about 15 minutes. Once your chocolate has hardened, all you need to do is peel off the styrofoam cup and your hot chocolate sticks are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked and enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!